Hello everyone and welcome to Edison TV. My name is Aaron Atkar and I'm a healthcare analyst at Edison. We're joined today by Antti Valanta, CEO at Herantis Pharma. Herantis is a Finland-based clinical stage biotech focused on developing disease-modifying therapies for Parkinson's disease. Welcome, Antti. Thank you. So to get started, for those less familiar, can you briefly introduce yourself, your background, and what drew you to Herantis? Yeah, thanks. So as said, my name is Antti Volanta. I'm the CEO of Herantis. I've been with the, with the company for over seven years, three years as a CEO. Before that, I was a chief operating officer. Um, before joining Herantis, I um, actually spent 10 years in immune oncology. So um, especially in the oncolytic virus space. I'm an engineer by background. Um, so during my pharma career, I have been um, dealing with the CMC, uh, preclinical, also clinical studies. But the past 10 years, more on the business partnering side, developing organizations. And I have to admit that I have really much enjoyed the journey in small biotechs, having different hats and uh, always every day is very different from, from any other day. So it's, it's, it's really nice. And I'm, I'm so enthusiastic in, in, in being in this position. Excellent. So we're excited to follow the progress of your lead candidates, her 96 uh, but we understand that the story really starts with the preceding candidate, CDNF. So could you give us an overview of how the CDNF program transitioned into the current her 96 program? Yes, so actually the foundation of Herantis originally 2008 was based on the discovery of CDNF or cerebral dopamine neurotrophic factor by Helsinki University. And, and Herantis was originally a spin-out company from, from the university. And, and the company took CDNF from uh, true preclinical studies. Uh, we got great um, clinical, preclinical data, for example, in, in, uh, in um, primate, uh, non-human primate studies, uh, demonstrating uh, regeneration of, of uh, neurons. Uh, and uh, then we did a clinical study with, with CDNF in fairly advanced uh, Parkinson's patients. And we also saw very nice data there. So we had a couple of patients with clear clinical benefits. We saw uh, biological improvements. However, the challenge was that as a protein, CDNF had to be administered intracranially. And uh, while we discussed with the pharma about commercialization, it came pretty evident that the intracranial administration in an indication with uh, more than 10 million people suffering from that, it's not a very easy equation. So that in a way provided us a uh, um, um, rationale to find out other molecules where we could have the same mechanism of action uh, and, and we ended up with HER96, which is uh, actually a mimic of a CDNF active site. And uh, that's in a way uh, the link between the current lead asset HER96 and the uh, origin of the company with CDNF. Okay, so HER096, the lead program now. Um, how has it fended in the clinic to date? Um, what's the current status and what are the next steps? Yeah, so with HER96, the, the main objective was to have a compound that can uh, enter the brain after peripheral, peripheral administration. And of course, the first step in the, in the process was to ensure that we have the same activity, the same mechanism, mechanism of action, which we have pretty nicely uh, demonstrated in preclinical settings. And now we have uh, HER96 in phase 1b clinical study, first time in Parkinson's patients. And in this study, um, the, the Parkinson's patients will get uh, eight administrations uh, within four weeks of treatment. And of course, this is a mainly a safety study, but we also have um, biomarker end, endpoints included in the study. Uh, of course, the main objective is to establish the setup, uh, the safety and uh, uh, administration setup for a phase two clinical study. And previously we have completed a phase one A clinical study uh, in which we demonstrated nice safety pro profile and the blood brain barrier penetration. So 
subcutaneous administration of HER96 delivers uh, HER96 into the brain tissue in, uh, in a concentration that we have shown in preclinical settings to be pharmacologically active. Excellent. So it's encouraging to see that the company's approach has received recognition from, from numerous external groups. So could you summarize these for us, touch upon how they've supported your current financial position? Yes, so um, absolutely for a small biotech company, external validation is extremely important. Uh, last year um, in, in July, we um, announced collaboration and partnership with uh, the Michael J. J. Fox Foundation and uh, Parkinson's UK Virtual Biotech Program. And they are actually financing our phase 1B clinical study and some additional biomarker exploration work that we do. Uh, of course, extremely important as they are maybe the best uh, um, uh, ex uh, experts in the Parkinson's field uh, globally. In addition to that, we also have a, a, a project uh, together with uh, European Innovation Council, and they have uh, supported us with uh, two and a half million euros for um, for um, a preparation for the phase two uh, clinical study. So I think we have been very successful with, uh, let's say, uh, non um uh, pharmaceutical industry collaboration and of course the next uh, objective of, of the company is to expand that to to pharma uh, partnership excellent so taking a step back now can you give us an overview of the current standard of care for parkinson's disease and then the commercial potential of a disease modifier yeah so basically um parkinson's disease is a disease of of degeneration and uh, loss of dopaminergic neurons in the midbrain. And the hallmark of the current uh, treatment is to is uh, dopamine replacement therapy. So basically compensating the loss of dopamine in the midbrain. Uh, and that is done by, by uh, administration of, of levodopa uh, with normally with some, some um, additional th therapies that in a way strengthen the, the uh, action of levodopa. So, the idea is to keep uh, the right amount of, of dopamine in the in the midbrain. However, that comes with uh, with uh, uh, several side effects, and eventually, as the disease progresses, um, the the efficacy also tends to to decrease. Uh, so basically, currently, none of the current treatments can uh, stop or slow down the progression of the disease. The current market size for um, uh, pharmaceuticals for pa Parkinson's disease is around 5 uh, billion US dollars. And it's estimated that uh, uh, until 2030, it will maybe double. Uh, so being uh, around 10 billion US dollars. But it can also be um, higher in, in case uh, a new efficient disease modifying therapies will enter the market as there is a really high unmet clinical need. As I already mentioned earlier, there are 10 million people suffering from Parkinson's disease, and all of those are, un, uh, are in a way untreated, at least at some point of time when the disease progresses. So there is a huge unmet clinical need, and uh, we def definitely hope to be uh, one of the pioneers in, in this, this market. So to wrap up for us now, can you summarize the key catalysts and milestones that investors should watch out for across the next 12 to 18 months? Yeah, so basically we are currently running the phase 1B clinical study. So the first exposure of, of HER96 into Parkinson's patients. The readout is in September this year, so it's only a couple of months ahead. And should the data be strong, I, I strongly believe that uh, we have a nice opportunity for uh, either creation of a partnership with pharma or attracting uh, more international investors to, to support us going forward. And of course, then the next uh, important step is to, to uh, start the phase two clinical study, maybe towards the end of 26. And then, of course, in phase two study, the, the primary objective is to, to demonstrate the proof of concept of the study, so efficacy in, in Parkinson's patients. So basically, um, this, this, these are the, the main milestones going forward uh, during this year and next year.
Sounds good. Well, thank you very much, Antti, for the, the insightful discussion. Certainly looking forward to following the progress of Herantis. For more information, we direct our audience either to the company's websites and keep an eye out on the Edison website where we plan to publish our initiation of coverage notes in May. So thanks again for your time today, Antti. Thank <laughs> you.